2023 Bristol Bay Sockeye Run recap. We didn't have any real issues with the boat or mechanics. A um, couple small things, but nothing that stalled us from fishing any of the tides. We were able to fish every tide, no breakdowns, and uh, that's always a bonus because sometimes that can really waylay you if it hits in the middle of a, a big day and you're sitting on the sidelines. <clears throat> so that was pretty successful. And um, crew, we always have one rock star, one guy that's pretty good, and one guy that wishes he never signed up for the, for the, for the deal. But um, that's kind of fun. That's part of the fun, um, I think, developing young guys and girls um, in those kind of conditions really is is a fun part of Bristol Bay. You know, you see kids get to really learn how to work and build work ethic and find out what hard work's all about. So um, I know there's a lot of young deckhands out there that go through that. So 2023 run in Bristol Bay came in at just over 52 million. It was very sporadic in the, the beginning. We had a lot of strong Southeast winds that were kind of pushing the fish out so it seemed like it held them out of the district for a while and then they would pulse in and then we would get um, another good blow come by and it would kind of hold them out so looking back at the season it seemed like those southeast winds played a big part in the cyclical nature of the way the fish came in this year but they were a lot of big fish we were seeing about a 5.6 pound average and um, so a lot of two ocean fish, which is going to provide good, big fillets for this upcoming season. We started the season in the New Shigak. We went over there despite knowing that the king harvest was going to restrict some of the sockeye fishing in the front end of the run. Um, our radio group was kind of focused on that river district, so we wanted to be with the rest of the guys to maximize our efforts as a team. And um, so we started there. We got off to a pretty good start once the once the fish hit their escapement triggers that allowed us to start fishing. And um, the kings were still lagged behind, and I was really glad to see that the biologists took the effort to preserve the king run and do what they can to best manage a sockeye fishery that overlaps with a king fishery. Um, we're making good efforts to help with the um, escapement of kings and providing the resource for the sportsmen upriver to fish. So um, we have to work together to, to kind of manage this resource. And um, it's kind of the first time I've seen the sockeye fishery have to be managed that way. But uh, I think in the future we're going to need to do it and it's going to continue to be part of the Nushigak fishery um, is the king management plan. So um, with that said, it started to slow on the, I think the 3rd of July. So we transferred to the Knack Knack, which was just starting to get kind of cooking because should have left maybe a day or two earlier, but uh, you can never, never plan those things just perfect and um, got there, got some good fishing in, and then it went quiet for a couple days around the 10th, 11th, 12th, and we're all just sitting around like wondering if the run was over. So kind of calling the biologists, trying to figure out what um, they're thinking, talking to the plant managers, seeing what they're thinking about the run. So then on the 13th, the um, fish that have been held out by the weather really seemed to just pour in and we had some you know big 30,000 pound days um, bright fish they were you weren't seeing any signs of the run kind of coming to a tail end when you start to see fish that are starting to turn colors um, and start to get into their spawning phases so it, it looked like it was going to continue and it did it continued right up into the you know early 21st 22nd with decent and then we pulled out um, because of the, the building that we have going on back home, I decided that like, okay, I had enough fishing for the year. Things are good. They're talking about the price. And so we decided to come out on the 22nd and wrap things up and head home. And um, there's guys stayed and fished a little bit extra and, and did pretty good, I think. But that's always the case. Every year somebody stays, does better. What um, You wish you stayed another day or two, but would you have caught those fish? That's the question. Right. Mm -hmm.
you, you uh, when you're out there on the water and trying to figure out what the fish are doing, I think a therapist would be would be good on <laughs> would be good on the water. Maybe that's something we could we could start as a floating therapist. That's, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 